thing. Didn't the EPA bring us the 90s clean air activity that actually wound up poisoning the water with MTBE? So why do you trust them now? I, I don't know. I don't have... You don't know anything about what happened the last time they tried to clean the air? Starting tomorrow, I'm no longer just a shipping clerk. I'm chairman of the board. And it's all because of... Freaking.com Okay, so you're one of the few people that actually advocated directly the plan. Most uh, people, I like some of the ideas, but you were advocating the plan, correct? I was reading Appalachian Mountain Club's statement. Okay, so, so that's not necessarily your opinion. Because they couldn't be here, so I said I would do okay. their statement. They're testifying in D.C. tomorrow. Oh, well, that's fair. That's and fair. Um, so they were unable to be here, and... They provided the statement, and since they have some terrific data on their website, um, I thought folks should have an opportunity to look at it. They've been collecting data um, at the Mount Washington Observatory and in the Franconia Notch for over 25 years. Yeah. Right? Um, so do you so know if the club is the it's a club? The Appalachian Mountain Club is a nationwide. It's um, basically they're the stewards of the Appalachian Trail. And do you know if they, any of them read the, the rule? I would assume so because who wrote um, their statement was their air quality scientist. Okay. Because it's, it's 400 pages long and I didn't understand any of it. I mean, I, I would, I, I, I'm, I'm pleased to hear you be so frank about that because I know, uh, and, and I'm sure many of our congressional folks probably rely on people like those air quality scientists to kind of help translate that stuff for us. Okay. Well, I don't think you have near as much explaining to do since you were just reading someone else's statement. I no, just, thank it was you. nice to hear some, you know, something that was concrete because a lot of people are not being super concrete about where they stand. All right. Thanks much. Oh, you're welcome. Sir, I, I got the impression you're supportive of the EPA on this. Is that yes. correct? Uh, let me ask you something. Didn't the EPA bring us the 90s clean air activity that actually wound up poisoning the water with MTBE? So why do you trust them now? I, I don't know. I don't have... You don't know anything about what happened the last time they tried to clean the air? They poisoned the lakes. You don't even care about history? I hope I'm saying that right. It's either MTBE or MBTE. Uh, this information comes from a 60 Minutes report back in the late 90s where, uh, especially out in California, there were some lakes that were rendered unusable uh, by the, the new gas that Washington was making people put in their cars. So that gas turned out to be, you know, if, if the smallest amount of it got into a lake, it could ruin the lake, basically, at least for a while. seen the dramatic liberty arrests in Keene, New Hampshire. Now see 111 reasons why you should move there and reinforce these gutsy activists. Keene's advantages are compelling. For details visit freekeen.com